Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a really quick and short one, but it's something I wished I had about three weeks ago. So this device here, this lovely green unit, is the Superba Forma, the Superba version of a knit radar or a knit leader if you're familiar with other types of, uh, of knitting machine. It's actually the same as the version for PASOP or PASOP, however you actually say that word, except a different color in most cases, and it says Superba on the front. So I was lucky enough to find one of these. I had a really hard time getting it attached to my machine. I just, I couldn't find a video of how to do it. So I wanted to share that here in case anybody finds themselves in my shoes. So when you receive the unit, it may or may not come attached to a plate like this with this plastic piece here that they call a spring. Um, if it doesn't, this is how you need it to be set up for a machine without a motor drive. I don't have a motor. I've never actually even seen a motor for a Superba in person. So for my purposes, it needs to be attached to this base plate. Uh, you can kind of see under the machine, it's just attached with a couple of screws. There's instructions in the manual for attaching it. It was sent with the Superbas as far, or with the um, Formas as far as I know when they were new. So you need to make sure that you have that if you're attaching to a machine without a motor drive. Now I'm just gonna come around so you can see this from the side and I'll show you how to attach it. The installation process is really, really easy. You might actually say to yourself when this is over, why did you need a video on this? But it was very difficult. <laughs> so all you do, is just push down on this spring and slide the unit underneath the knitting machine. Um, I really can't get a good shot of it. It's almost impossible to tell, but under here, if you, if you feel underneath the machine, there's a, a metal ledge or bar. And what I was doing was putting the spring piece over top of the metal bar. And you actually wanna push it down harder and put it underneath the metal bar. Otherwise it's gonna move around and it, uh, it wasn't working properly. So it does take some force. You have to push down on it and just slide the unit underneath the machine and you'll hear a nice click and you'll see that it doesn't wiggle side to side, although you can move it if it's slightly not where you want it, but it doesn't, it's rock solid. It's not going anywhere. And then removal, very easy as well. You just push down, same thing, push down really hard and slide the whole thing out. That's it. That's how you install it. Um, there's a couple more steps involved with the actual setup and use. You want to make sure that this piece here, your row counter tripper, hits this piece here. The, um, I believe they call it the pattern driver tripper in the manual, but I'm not sure. You need to hit that to trip the forma. And it needs to line up properly. I believe the overlap that needs to occur here is about two millimeters. That's from the manual, or that's in the manual, so do double check that. And if it isn't lined up properly, I'll show you where you make that adjustment. So if you're finding that you need to adjust how the um, row counter tripper is hitting the pattern driver tripper, all you need to do is lift up this flap, take out your stitch scales, you don't need that right now. And if you look down inside the unit, it's kind of difficult to see. Let me get closer in there. There's actually two screws. You see just regular flat screws. Whoops. So if you loosen those, you can actually slide the whole unit forward or backward as necessary to make sure that you've got the adjustment just right. So that's it. Once you've got the unit attached to the machine, you've got it adjusted properly forward and backward, you're ready to make a swatch and start using it, but that's a subject for another video. That's all I wanted to show you today. Uh, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share if this helped you, and I'd love to hear from you if you have experience working with the Forma or if you have any questions. Thanks and happy knitting!